Do you want to easily create images like this one or this one? Then this video is for you because I will show you how to use Midjourney for beginners and create your own images step by step. But before you can start using Midjourney and create images like this one, you need a Discord account. If you already have one, just skip ahead with the timestamps down below. Otherwise, let's jump right into it. First, you go to discord.com. I'll also leave a link to that in the description. And then you click on login. And from this page here, you can click on register and start creating your account. And here, just fill out everything. <laughs> and don't mind the words, they are in German. You can probably tell by my accent that I'm from Germany. Just fill it out and then you can start creating your account. Okay, once the account is created, we need to confirm that we are human, of course. So we'll just do that real quick. And now we are on Discord. Let me switch that to English real quick. And now the last thing we want to do is to confirm our email address as it says in the green bar up top. So let's go there. And here we are in the confirmation email and of course you just click on verify email and it automatically sends you back to Discord. And now that we have done that, let's join Midjourney. For that you need to go to midjourney.com, link in the description again. And then when you're here you click on join the beta. You will be automatically forwarded and then you just click on accept invite. And here of course we need to check if we are human again. So let's do that real quick. And in Discord at the top left corner you have now the mid journey symbol. You click that now and it brings you right here. And you can read through these notes if you want to, a little bit of information about version 5 and a few other things. When you scroll up you also see a few commands that you can use. But let's go ahead and use it right now ourselves. And for that you want to come over to this left sidebar here, scroll down and find a newbies channel. Now you join one of these newbies channels by clicking it and beware they are pretty full so there's a lot of stuff going on there. It's easy to get lost. But when you're on the channel you can start creating your own images. You just do that by typing slash, then you see a list of commands. We type in slash imagine, there you have the prompt and you can type in the prompt that you want. Let's try a dog skiing down a mountain and see what it gives us. Now as you can see here, before we can start creating, we need to accept the terms of service. So we just click on accept TOS and then we can finally start. A little bit of more information down here and as you can see, messages for you or from you are always in yellow. So this is how you can find your stuff that you create. You can read through that, but let's finally type in our first prompt. A dog skiing down a mountain. And you can see it is waiting to start, it's quite busy, you can see all the other pictures in here. Alright, now you can see how it slowly starts creating four different images and then you can choose the best one for upscale or make variations. I'll show that to you in just a moment. Okay, when they are done the message gets sent to the bottom so it's a little bit chaotic. But you can see all the other images. One good thing that you can do is just look at what kind of images you like and see what prompts they used. So you can use some of the keywords for yourself when you make your own images. And as you can see your message is always in yellow so you can find your images. Let's look at them. Alright, they aren't even that bad. Well, a little bit of funky stuff going on there. I think I really like the, the fourth image. Now we have the images 1, 2, 3, 4 in that order and this is important when we look now down here. You can see U1, U2, U3, U4, V1, V2, V3 and V4. This is to either upscale it or to make variations of it. So let's make variations of image 4 and see what it gives us. Okay, we need to scroll down again to find our image. Ah, there it is. Okay, you can see it creates four variations. And when it's done, it posted at the end again. So yeah, there's a lot going on in here. There we go, our four variations. And well, I actually think I like the one before that better. But anyway, let's just upscale one of these now. I think I like the third one the most. So you click on U3 and the image gets upscaled, which also takes a while again. As you can see here, upscaling image waiting to start. And there we go, you can see how Midjourney starts to upscale our image. So it's at 0%, let's wait till that's done. Scrolling all the way to the bottom again. And there is our upscaled image, so let's look at that. Doesn't look too bad, you can save it by just making a right click and then save picture as. And this is how you can start using Midjourney as a beginner. 
To create images like this, you of course need to refine your prompts a little bit. One tip, as I said, is to just look what other people write, what you like, and then use that. Another thing that works very well is to mention certain types of lenses or camera settings to refine your images even better. For example, for this image, you can see my exact prompt on the screen now. If you have any other questions, let me know down below in the comments. And if you are new to AI, are afraid to get left behind and want to start get into it, then I'm sure you also like this video over here.